Good evening, everybody. This is Dale Hatchell and Elizabeth Burt and Terry Phillips, and we're with you here tonight um, via Zoom, and we are just so excited about Terry Phillips coming to share her chat to share with us <laughs> about the NDC in San Francisco, and we'll have fun watching your cat tonight. But first, we wanted to talk about um, Sunday's event just briefly and say what an amazing event it was. Terry, we did miss you. Was, Craig was, you've heard Craig before, he's just awesome. And um, you can see, despite the fact that the USC football game got rescheduled from Saturday, which is why we didn't do the meeting on Saturday, to Sunday, um, and despite the fact that we'd had the hurricane and we had lots of people without power and people who were coming supposedly from the beach area were not able to come because of what was going on, obviously, with them. But it turned out to be a full room of excited, happy, healthy people, and we just had an amazing time. We had some great testimonies um, that you'd be sure need to want to go into the Hatchelbert Facebook page and watch all those videos. Let's see, there was one, um, Elizabeth and Meg and Rachel got to share their testimonies, made me cry, several people cry, it was so wonderful. Um, and that video is there. And then there's a couple of videos of Craig Cushman knocking it out of the ballpark, he was so good. Uh, we all just felt so much more, um, it just gave a lot more credibility for all of us and a lot more passion and a lot more, um, what do I want to say? Um, enthusiasm. enthusiasm just is such an amazing company. And you realize it when you listen to him It's such an amazing opportunity. So we had a great time being together. We had tables spread out around the room where people could go and try products. Um, all in all, it was just a fantastic time. So be sure to go to the Hatchelbert team page on Facebook and check out all the videos um, and you'll actually get to hear Craig speak. So with that being said, I am going to push forward. You've got to touch the screen. There. So Terry, you can unmute yourself now and I will mute myself in a minute. Well, do you want me to stay on with you? Sure, that way you can ask any follow-up questions that you think of that I haven't hit. Okay, and then Elizabeth can unmute if she thinks of something as well. Awesome. But thank you, Terry. We really, really appreciate it. We're so proud of you for qualifying for this trip, and we just wanted to be there with you. And it's like, show us pictures, show us pictures. <laughs> and we appreciate your sharing so generously with the team tonight. And um, we're in for a treat, and I want you to know that if you're a director, you can qualify for this trip if you put in on this trip. And Terry, would you say it was well worth it? Well worth it. Well worth the wait. Good. All right, we're going to roll it on. There she is, our superstar. Let's see. The coolest thing about Terry um, is that really, this is not advertised a ton. But this is really the first incentive trip that you get to go on with Shackley. So tell us what that was like to, you know, actually get that email saying you'd qualified and they're paying for everything and arranging everything. What was that like? The interesting part about it is um, I didn't know I'd qualified until I got the letter in the mail. And then I was like, how did I manage this? I wasn't really sure how it had happened. So it came through. It was just a really awesome thing to know. And then because of the people, number of people who had qualified, I was like almost a year out when I got my qualification letter. So the closer it gets, you get the email saying, go ahead and register now. So I register. And where I work, I work at a church. And a lot of what I do is I manage the travel for anybody going anywhere. For the mission trips to Guatemala or folks going out to um, Western, out to Arizona or wherever they're going, I always manage the travel. I made one phone call and everything was done. I've never had that happen for me before. I was like, okay, so do I need to call the hotel now? They're like, nope, they'll get this reservation and you'll be all set. I'm like, one phone call and it was all done. And it was really incredible. I've never had anything quite like that done before for me before. Awesome. Aha, uh -huh. so you arrived. <laughs> there I have arrived. And we walk out the door, we meet the others that are are there for the trip, the sign for the Shackley event. 
And we get there and we walk out and all of a sudden the people I'm with start taking pictures of this limo. And I thought, oh, that's a really nice car. And then I realized, wait a minute, is that a ride? And they went, yes. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have never ridden in a limo. <laughs> so my very first limo ride was on my Shackley incentive trip. Wow. Which was incredible. Pretty cool. Yeah. So the folks that were with us were um, from my area here in the DC area and um, from the Hispanic market in our area. And we ended up, didn't realize we were on the same flight out. We were on the same flight back and got to share the limo back to the airport mm -hmm. and on the same flight and all of that. So it was a lot of fun being able to be together there. We got to stay in, um, Danielle, I take it you got this off of the um, webpage for the Marriott? No, actually, um, I stole a couple of pages from either, well, I, I just searched Shackley in D.C. and Facebook found some, some pictures. And it, was that your, is that what your hotel room? Just about, just about. The sliding glass doors were at the foot of the bed, and so everything was just a little different orientation. But I had a little balcony off of my room um, that was overlooking the pool area and the patio area. So it was a really beautiful little room. And lots of room with king size bed and just really beautiful setup. And the hotel was really nice with a small little restaurant in it. It was really centrally located so that uh, there was a Whole Foods within walking distance and a whole large shopping center with a Target and all of that right there. So if you needed anything, you forgot something, it was all right there within walking distance. Cool. So and you got to stay by yourself, right? I did because it was my business. So I was on, in the room all by myself. And Mark was also earned the trip with you, but he was unable to go, correct? Correct, because he had just started a new job. So it was just me in this wonderful, great big room. <laughs> Being treated royally. Yes, definitely. All right, moving on. Ah, are you, is that your picture, right, going in the bus? Yes, that's my picture in the bu out the bus window there. And you talked about um, Chris Bartholomew. I think that's him right there in the very front in the white yeah. shirt. Uh-huh. Um, so we left after breakfast. They called us out six busloads of people, six big passenger buses, and off we head to the Shackley headquarters, and we wait in line one by one to come off of the bus, and it was only a 10 or 15 minute ride to the headquarters, and there is music playing, the whole corporate staff's out cheering you on and talking to you and, and greeting you as you come off as Roger and Heather and the whole staff, and they are just so excited to have you there that um, it was a really incredible I keep using that word, but it was a really amazing experience to have these people there for you and for everybody else on the bus. It was just really, really fun. I love the fact that they um, used to do the green, the red carpet for everybody and Heather has come and she's added all kind of cool touches now for Shackley. We have yeah. the green carpet now. Oh, the green carpet. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. It was awesome. It was a, a lot of fun coming off the bus with everybody there. Ah, now we come to the gift side. So this was our, um, we arrived and you check in and this was your check-in bag. A wonderful bottle uh, for water. Uh, that is a fun little bottle that I've been carrying around with me lately. Found out, do not put them in the dishwasher. They do not wash well. And a friend of mine did that, posted it in our Facebook page and they sent her new ones. So Shackley is a really great company with that. Yeah, I love that, that they put the NDC on the, on the bottom. Mm -hmm. We've got the logo on the bottom, so that was great. So then our first night there, we get this wonderful little goodie bag. And I didn't know it was going to be there. We walk in and there it is. And it's got a couple of packs of uh, Life Shake and it's got, um, it had snack bars and meal bars and energy chews and both sets of teas. And which is a nice little add on to whatever you needed. So you could pack those in and you had it right there for you. And the second night there we had, so this was on our chair the next day, but the second night we actually got the big white table runner that has the Shackley logo on either oh, end. Oh, good. Don't on you the second that. night. Yeah. It was really nice. So this was a really interesting piece, the plant your pencil. So we got in and we had the, our, um, our book to tell us where we could take notes, just like they had give you at conference. And this pencil and the little green bag had a pencil sharpener in it with the Shackley logo. Bless you, honey. And sorry, he sneezed. Um, but the pencil was something that they found, and I actually sat next to, um, oh, I can't remember her name now, but the lady who works with Heather who ordered these in, I was sitting next to her on the bus one day, 
and they were looking for something unique for us and this just goes to our green culture the end the tip of this pencil when you pull it out it's got a really green tip on it if i can get it close enough you can see how that there's no eraser it's got a green tip mm -hmm. it's got the shackley logo on it and then on the opposite side it has I don't think you'll ever be able to see it, but the little words at the bottom say mint on this one. Mm -hmm. So you take these, you turn them over, and you plant them in a planter. And the seeds for what you're planting are in here in this green tub, and it will grow whatever is on them. So I have mint, uh -huh. and I can plant it in my little pot, and it will grow mint. <gasps> That's awesome. So when you have your pot of mint, you should take a picture of it. <laughs> let everybody see it. And they were, they were others with basil and cilantro and other things like that. But it's just another way that Shackley goes green and it's a lead free pencil. So it was all sitting there waiting for us. It's just little, our little gifts and, and takeaways. I loved how Heather said on the business leader call the other night that they had goodies for y'all everywhere. And that the most favorite talked about one was the, the pencil that you can plant. <laughs> it was awesome. It was really, it's a really cool thing. Amazing what people can do now. Yeah. Uh, Ah, the star, right? And, you know, right after we get off the bus, we're greeted by Roger. And then next thing you know, there he is welcoming us to the event and just giving us that wonderful pep talk, just like he does at conference every year. So if you ever go anywhere, Roger's there. It's always just an amazing and uplifting experience to hear him speak wherever you are. I know he was saying how proud he was of all of you amazing leaders and future future big leaders of Shackley and how proud you are of you. Yeah, it was wonderful. So our next, right after he spoke with us, it was the Olympians. Um, one of the things that we also did us on the first night there, we had a meet and greet session and we actually got to have photos taken with the Olympians. So there I, I am with Kaylee. Mm -hmm. And um, so Kaylee had an interesting story. Her story for us was to like never get up and all, never give up and always go for what you want, no matter how difficult it is. She was a two time or two sport champion in both surfing and water polo. And in 2010, I think it was in 2010, she um, was this two time under 18 surfing champion and wanted to go on tour with her surfing buddies. She'd also earned a scholarship to play water polo at USC. The other USC. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> after a few years, she said, I'll give it a try. Give it about a year. In 2013, she led the team to a national championship in water polo and qualified for the Rio Olympics. Wow. So she worked hard, went to the Rio, and now surfing is going to be a new um, competitive sport at the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo. And she's feeling called to keep, um, after taking some time off, to, to try again for Tokyo because her father was an Olympian in 1964 in Tokyo. In Tokyo. How cool is that? So she doesn't know whether it'll be surfing or water polo again, but she's going to try and see what she'll, what she'll come out with. So it was really fun to be able to talk with her and or get, get her information back and just get her, um, uh, get her encouragement behind what we're doing mm -hmm. yeah elite a, elite athletes really have always the encouragement and the stories and strength mm -hmm. about persevering and fighting through all the challenges so i love hearing from you and i can't remember if it was clint or if it was um one of the other corporate folks they were talking about we have an olympian who's on the actual mexican team and Mexico is getting ready to open up here shortly for us as a market. And he started getting after winning in Rio, he started getting all of these endorsement deals. Nike wanted him, all the big names wanted him. And he said, you know what? Shackley's been there for me. I'm gonna stick with Shackley and I'm gonna stay on their team. So we have a, a wonderful Mexican Olympic, Olympian now who will be part of the Shackley performance team. That is awesome. Jim just did thumbs up. <laughs> that would be really cool. Absolutely. Now, um, did she talk about the regimen she's on or anything? No. Yeah. It was, this was all just kind of um, motivational, motivational and, and coaching type of thing. Okay. Ah. So this was lunch. And I don't know if you knew this, Dale, but did you realize you know that I'm in this picture? Where are you? So you see the pink, 
the lady in the pink sweater. Yeah. That's Brandia. Right <gasps> and Scott. Record, and then I'm in the black shirt. I right there. <laughs> right there. So, Were you surprised when I had this picture on the slide and you saw it? I looked at him like, hey, I don't think she knows I'm in there. No, I so, don't. This, was a, this is the wonderful inter, inside of the Shackley corporate buildings. And there is an oval walkway around it that um, had some dedication. It was uh, dedicated to one of the first Shackley presidents. Um, and it, there's more information around um, quotes and things that he had around another stone wall that's there. And it was really interesting. And for our first lunch, they had the sit down buffet lunch for us. And the chairs and the tables, um, I think, Gail, you're going to show a little video later on with the drone. Um, it pulls away and they were in the shape of the Shackley leaf. So it was a really interesting way for them to lay lay out this, and so just a beautiful, beautiful. Um, we had beautiful weather while we were there. The day I flew out, it was 100 degrees, so we got the 60 and 80 degree weather. So we were happy. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Now, when did you? I forget, didn't ask you when I was put this together, but when did you actually have the training with like Gary Burke and different the the like Laura Evans and people like that? Was it? It was all day Thursday and Friday. Okay. So they were individual Stand sessions out. going through. Anything you want to tell us about that since I don't really have a slide? Well, you have the, um, you have a slide for. So just keep going. Personal growth. And that's where I've got it. Okay, good. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So this is the Shackley Innovation Center. So this is where um, we got uh, Dr. Daggett came out and talked to us before we went and we got to do a little tour of the Innovation Center. And for me, my, in my head, I had this picture of this huge building, big machines, lots of people working, pallets full of Shackley products and all of this. And we get there and I'm like, huh, this is a corporate office suite, you know, in an office park. And I'm thinking, hmm, this is interesting. And then I realized, oh, okay, this is just the testing piece. Got it. Okay. The other would be more of a, a warehouse. Okay. So I figured that out. In here, and one of the things they announced before we went on the tour is we have now received our fourth, count them, one, two, three, fourth patent on Vivix. It has now come through. We now have four full patents on Vivix. Yay. So. Um, Are you the first ones to hear that? I don't know. But they announced it. Dr. Daggy announced it to us. Awesome. We have a, we have, they have a slide up for it. So. There are several different labs within this facility and on the wall you have all of the innovative products shown here in the middle and there's the wall that has different patents, copies of the patents on the wall there as well. And there are three main labs, the discovery, the analytical and the development lab. And the analytical lab is where all of our checks for authenticity and purity come from, are done right here in this, in this facility. Um, and we got to peek inside the labs. We couldn't take photos at them because they didn't want to give anything away, what they're doing and what kinds of uh, testing equipment and things that they're using there, what they're testing and working on. But you could see where they had taken samples from the um, life, life strips and were testing those. And you could see a big, big bottle thing doing a test like this. So it was simulating stomach acids and doing all different testings there. That was really interesting to see. And then, Speaking of the tests, have you ever wondered exactly how they're done? How do we get all of that, that millions of thousands of tests that they do every year? How are those really done? Again, mm -hmm. the silly picture in my head from the admin brain is all of these little testers out in these lab techs in there doing all their tests and making sure they all run right and working shift, you know, three shifts a day or whatever it is. Nope. It's just these great big machines that are set up and the uh, lab techs put the stuff in. They set it up to run their tests and the tests are run overnight and everything is there. And then they fix whatever comes back. If it's wrong or whatever it is, they, they are then able to correct all of that from there. That's cool. So it was a very, for me, from Nana, you know, I had this admin brain of looking at all these people doing things and um, I'm sure they're in the background there, but they're still done by a lot of machinery now to make sure they're done completely right. So I'm sure that was quite impressive. Same. It was. And we had all of the lab techs and some of the leads of those lab techs, if you had specific questions, so if you were of a scientific brain, which I'm not, you could ask whatever questions you had of them as to what they were doing and how they worked. That would not be me either. <laughs> I would just be looking at all of it going, wow, this is cool. <laughs> yes, that was a lot of fun. 
So then we got in, a lot of what we did was the personal growth time and they talked about this is our first real stage of when we become a business leader and how we move forward from that and how we can help develop our teams, um, how to provide coaching to those who are working with us and all of that. I don't have to speak any of that to Jim because he already knows all this stuff. But um, the art project that you're seeing here on the left, um, I'm just going to leave that there and not say anything more about it because it's going to be something that you're going to see more of throughout the year. And if you come to Atlanta, you'll get to see the finished product. Cool. Um, so going through, there were a couple of questions that had been put forward to the sales team, and we wanted to, I wanted to touch on a couple. One of the biggest people that I, I admired that I really had not heard from before was Dan Henderson. Mm -hmm. Dan Henderson was absolutely phenomenal in his story that he told and um, where he is at today. And what shocked me the most was all of a sudden he put the slide up to show his three legs and all of his legacy underneath it. And it's ours. He okay. is our up, 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 up line somewhere around there. I saw the Beneventos and, and I saw the Pratts on our list. So we are part of the Dan Henderson legacy, which is really awesome. And he talked about a lot of things that we hear a lot is find those three base legs, find those things, those three people who will build with you and help build that team to give you the base that you need to build out. Um, he can't remember the last time his bonus check was under $50,000 a month, a month, a month. <laughs> so needless to say, everybody just about fell out of our chairs when we heard that one. <laughs> um, but he did a lot of, of coaching and he talked about, um, Jim, I know you're a John Maxwell fan. He is a Stephen Covey guy. And that resonated with me with some of the, the training that I've done from an admin standpoint through the Covey training. And, uh, it was really interesting and, and the red light, red, green, yellow light, kind of the stoplight up there is where, where are you at? Green means go find that person. They're going to be your business partner. Red, forget it. They're saying, uh-uh, no, nope, I'm not going anywhere with you. And the yellow is maybe, not sure, not right now. Where is it at? And we did a lot of talking in his session about when do you know to move off of yellow to red or to green? So it was really uh, interesting conversations for us to have with that. And um, he said, you'll know right now, you'll think about them in your head, who that person is that's in yellow and that you know needs to go to red. We don't have to talk anymore about it. You'll just know it in your head automatically. Mm. And it was really interesting. And the, the big takeaway I got from him, and, and I hadn't heard this before, um, was the law of the farm or the law of the bamboo, where you plant the seed and you care for it, and especially in the bamboo. You water it, you care for it, you water it, you care for it. It takes five years for bamboo to grow. Once it comes up and sprouts, it takes off in, a, in, in just weeks, it goes up and shoots up just tremendously fast. So you just have to keep tending that farm, tending that bamboo, um, watering it and caring for it and it'll eventually get, you know, you'll get the growth that you wanna see. So that was a lot of, that was a lot of information from there. We also had a spouse session and um, Meg had asked some information about it. Um, what it was, was interesting was basically about skeptical spouses. And it was Brooke Thomas's husband and Napoli, is it Lauren Napoli? Brad Napoli. Yeah, Brad and Brett were the, the speakers on that. And they're both very successful businessmen. And when their wives came to them and said, hey, we want to do the Shackley business, they're like, eh, all right, whatever. They looked at it and said, well, it's not a scam, so go ahead and do this. And it wasn't until that first fairly large paycheck came in, that bonus check came in, that they went, huh, maybe this is something I need to pay attention to. Then the incentive trip started coming. The Bacar bonus came. All of these different pieces started coming. And then they looked more and more in depth and they're like, we shouldn't have been skeptical with this. So they, they, they talked about what they saw, how they came around to it. And there were several spouses there with their Shackley directors that you could see they still had some skepticism. And I really applauded some of those Shackley directors for asking the question, how do I make my husband understand this? And he's sitting right next to her. So it was really an interesting session to have done. And um, I really applaud Shackley for putting that in there and making that part of what we've got to see and learn and 
um, talking to a couple of the ladies that I knew after that whose husbands were skeptical, they're now their business partners. They were doing training sessions on the planes and they were really all in and ready to go with them. Awesome. So that was a really cool piece to do. And um, I had someone ask about my three major takeaways. One of them is the other slide you see is where are you in your journey? Um, Kevin Crandall presented this to us and you can see there's a, a chart and there are different pieces to it and that 95% of the people will get to that first wall and only 5% will get over it and then 2% pass the next wall. And what was interesting about it is it wasn't just in your business, it's in anything in your life. Wherever you are in your personal growth as well as your business growth, same thing's gonna happen and you're gonna have these highs and lows throughout the whole thing and where your stages are. And he talks about um, the five principles that are in there, identity, relationships, responsibility, skills, and purpose. And of those, you think of those uh, almost as your, your W's that you learned in English. The, the why is your identity, your relationship is your what, your how is your responsibility, and then your new why becomes your skills. Where This is your new why and what you're doing, and then your next what becomes your purpose. So I don't have all of the, I can't do it as eloquently as he did and talk it through, but you really, we went from content to context and it was just a really great way to kind of help put a lot of things in focus and see where, where growth is happening with different folks. Um, they, they always talk about go for the no or just become comfortable with being uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Those were the real big pieces that the more you're comfortable with being uncomfortable, the more you're going to grow and the better you're going to be as your own leader and your own, own personal growth as well. Then Heather had an interesting story that she told about um, boxes. And the story she told was her mom had all these boxes in her garage and she wanted to go through them. And Heather's in there going, okay, we're going to go, 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 go. We're going to do this, sort, 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 sort. And she looks up and her mom's on the other side of the garage just crying her eyes out. Because what Heather is seeing is Heather is seeing a job that needs to be done. And her mother is seeing memories and a life being sorted through. And this is going to the thrift store. This is being thrown out. This is saved. So all of these memories and these places are where they're going to be. And basically, she says, just be aware of the boxes that are in people's minds. You don't know what boxes and compartments are up here when you start talking to them in certain ways that could be a barrier. They could be an emotional block for them or what you need to do to try and work around and slow down or speed up depending on where those boxes are and what they hold. That's cool. I like that. So those were my, those were the big pieces from the training sessions we had throughout the, the days. Jim is taking notes. He's liking, he's digging. <laughs> <what he's saying. laughs> wow. That's impressive. He has a journal. I always every, take notes. <laughs> everywhere he goes. You never you, know when somebody's going to say something that clicks. So that was, that was a really fun one. Then we got to do the photo shoots. So I showed you the picture with the Olympians. The first night we were there at the welcome ceremony, Roger and Heather are there, and everybody, they're just waiting. Come take a picture with me. Come take a picture with me. And so that's what we did. They had the photographers there, and and they posted them on our Facebook page, and we all got our photos taken with uh, Roger and Heather. There's Roz. There's <laughs> Roz. So they had the photo booth set up again over at the corporate headquarters and all the props set up and everything. And it was fun watching the moms put their babies, you know, putting it, stuff on their babies and taking pictures with them. Groups of the Chinese or, or different people just coming in with hats and um, uh, wigs and everything and putting them on. So... As Roz would say, I'm watching you, always watching. <laughs> That's great. My Disney, it's my Disney-ness, I'm sorry. You can talk it and <laughs> I love it. <laughs> was just laughing too. Um, so then we got to do the, our dinners and our fun times. And the dinner in Livermore Valley, Valley is just outside Pleasanton, right from there. And it was just a beautiful, beautiful evening with the vistas that we got to see. Um, they had cornhole and giant Jenga and just a wonderful gathering areas where we were. Um, appetizers coming out and things we can do. Oops. Too fast. And then we got to have dinner within the winery itself and set up these wonderful tables with folks you may or may not know. And just getting to meet all of these folks. 
wonderful music playing. Shackley's um, logo, as you can see, shown up on, you know, projected up onto the wall. It's a really, really nice evening. Really good food, too, and really good wine. <laughs> <laughs> Terry just muted. Oh, we lost her. No, she's there. There we go. Sorry, my paper hit it. <laughs> okay. It's really good wine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Still drinking it, huh? <laughs> yeah, we had, a, we had a really good time that night. And then the next night we went, we got to go to the Blackhawk Museum for the farewell event um, mm -hmm. after a couple of days spending time together and learning all of these things. And I didn't really look up the Blackhawk Museum before we got there, but as you walk in, you get this beautiful statue of the elephant here and over to the behind them, you can kind of see in the shadow there are these beautiful giraffes that are there. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, okay, we have some animal themes. You go in and it's kind of a two floor um, process and you go upstairs and it's a wonderful Western museum. So you've got full size bison um, and elk and the, Cal the Western Calvary, talk about Buffalo Bill's Wild West show in there and this huge diorama of the West with the mountain ranges and the Indians and the Buffalo and the settlers and everything going on. And then all of a sudden I look up and there's a TIE fighter and there's an X-Wing fighter, and there's Darth Vader and Yoda. <laughs> All in the middle of that. So I was asking around, and some of the moms said they think it might be for a scavenger hunt for the kids while they're going through the museum there. So it was just very funny to see. And then when you go downstairs, you get to see all these fabulous cars, fabulous cars from Jaguars and Porsches and um, Cadillacs and just all kinds of beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cars. Um, and they set us up, as you can see on the left there, on these wonderful tables. It was a wonderful buffet dinner. And then we got to dance. And we danced. And we danced. <laughs> and there are some of you, I'm sure, have may have seen, or if you know Kevin Crandall, have seen him do the Gangnam Style dance. Well, he was shown up. There was somebody who came out, and Kevin just stepped to the side. And you all just got to meet Craig Cushman. Some of you just got to meet him for the first time or hear him. Anybody know he could rap? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he can rap pretty well. It was a really interesting time that we did. And we finished all this up, and we're back in our hotel by 8.30 that night. Wow. <laughs> it, was, it was a really amazing, amazing event there. I loved your um, live stream while you were there. <laughs> Thanks for telling me to turn my camera around. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> the first time I did one, too, I had it. I was like, oh, they'll be able to see better, you know? <laughs> you know? Exactly. Oops, sorry. It's okay. I was going like this. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm so glad that you got to spend time with Scott and Brandia. Mm -hmm. and, and they had missed the trip last year. And then they told you that. Mm -hmm. Exactly said you can go the next time, which was great. So, yeah. Yeah. And you'll get to see on the next slide here our new and old friends. This is Brandia. Mm -hmm. They're up in North Carolina. She and her husband, Scott. Wonderful, wonderful folks. Met them, met Scott for the first time in Long Beach. And then got to meet uh, Brandia in Cleveland a few years ago. And then these other wonderful ladies um, are from all over. We basically hit from the Midwest to the East Coast. We had folks from Nebraska, the Chicago area. Um, let's see, where was everybody else at? Uh, Jersey Shore, uh, North Carolina, and Virginia. So we were all in here um, doing all of this. And so we covered the whole area of where we were. And they were so gracious in wanting to, you can go ahead and pop the other pictures up as well, Dale. Um, they were so gracious in sharing their stories, where they're at in their careers. Some of them have already been on um, incentive trips, like you can see the green purse there that was already won um, as a star achiever, and they've been on the incentive trips, and then they get to go to the new director conference. So um, they were really having a great time. So you get to see all of these wonderful ladies, some of them there without their spouses, the, our whole group there was. And then you had others that were there with their babies moms with their little babies. Um, one of the ladies from my area here, um, she just turned a year old and she was there and the babies were fabulous through the meetings, um, no issues going on. And if they started getting fussy, all of a sudden there was a corporate person going, here, let me take her. You need to listen in on the session. So you look around and there's Craig Cushman with the baby. There's Craig, um, Kevin Crandall. And then there goes Heather with a baby. You know, you never know who's going to take the next baby around whether they're napping or just needing to play or whatever they need to go. And 
I met a fabulous older couple from Canada. Um, they were just so, so sweet. And they were like, they keep talking about this Facebook live stream thing. What are you talking about with that? Husband had never been on a computer, doesn't use a computer. She uses it, but wasn't real familiar with it. And so I just showed them on my, my Facebook page how it worked and what you could do. And they're like, oh, and they're talking hashtags? What's that? <laughs> um, so, but they're they're um, wonderful, wonderful people and just so sweet and growing their business there in Canada and learned how the products in Canada, because of the government regulations there, come out of time after ours. So they don't, if we have a new product launch here, it could be three, six, nine months before they can get it in Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was a really interesting, fun, fun piece to go. And there were four language translations going on, Spanish, Mandarin, Chinese, and Korean. All four, there were translators in the back of the room. And the small group that I ended up with had all of the translations. And I think I got all of the people in there. <laughs> a third, over a third of our group were... Um, uh, or spoke a different language. The English was not their uh, first language, so they were having the translation headsets on. So it was just really amazing seeing all these different cultures and things come along. And that was so cute when um, that I had sort of run into Colleen on Facebook, and then we became mm -hmm. friends, and then I connected y'all, and then you sent me the picture. I just love technology. It's like, look who I found. <laughs> yeah, we had a great time. Yeah, cool. Ah, oh. so here's the here's our large group. So who's going next year? Who's going to be in the next new directors conference? There's a couple of different ways you get there. Um, it was interesting because Heather asked us how many are here on your first try, which is basically about 18,000 PV in your first six months of becoming director. So if you get that, less than half of the room qualified first time in. We were almost all second time. We were almost between a half and two thirds second chance new director conference winners, which means you get, I think it's 18 months and you get another volume. I didn't go and look that up tonight. I'm sorry, but, but you get a second chance to go. And the Shackley did this so that they wouldn't hold anybody back and make this just an elite few who could make it. They wanted to spread this out so that everybody gets the chance to see this, gets the training and gets to get, go to that next level in their, in building their business. So if I can do it, anybody can do it. So Who's going? Who's going next? I bet there are going to be some people and they can't talk and they're either <laughs> listening to the recording later and they're going to go, I do, I do. And I wish we had the chance. My mom and dad actually went because 41 years ago, I don't even know if Elizabeth knows this or not. 41 years ago when I signed up, I was actually underneath my mom. We were not partners. And so mom and dad earned the trip. And they got to go to San Francisco and they actually got to meet Dr. Shackley. Oh, and I wow. found not too long ago, I found a newspaper clip of a picture of my mom and dad in San Francisco at the new directors, new supervisors conference. Mm -hmm. It was called back then. And um, I got to find the other one. There were two of them. And the only one I can find now is shred is not shredded, but it's torn. Mm -hmm. So I've got to find the other one, but I just thought that was so cool. And then we formed the partnership. So I never got to go. Mm -hmm. but we, have several people on our team who have gone. I'm so glad you've gone now, but Sonny's been and Meg's been. Anybody else? I can't remember, Elizabeth. Do you know? There may be some people who've been in longer who got to go, maybe um, Rebecca or Alice. But um, I just really, really highly recommend. I know you do too, Terry. Uh, yes. For yes. Anybody yes. who's a director or not a director yet to go on and get to director. Yes because this was well worth it. So tell us what this did for you. Um, one of the things that I've personally struggled with is the fact that I'm on the slow grow path because my why isn't as big as, as a lot of folks. I'm not, I don't have kids at home that I want to stay home with. I don't have uh, something that I real, that just, it is just that compelling piece for me. That for me is still my job working at the church, the things that I get to do there and the people that I impact there are still, that's my bigger why at this point. But what this did for me is it, for, it, it, it not, was acknowledgement for me that no matter what path you're on, whether it's real slow girl like me or that you're there in three months, it doesn't matter. We all grow in different paces. We all, all um, 
manage to get there one way or another if that's where we want to be. And, um, and you can see that throughout the business. There are, all, there are others like me. There are those that, um, I'm, uh, the folks that I met in the limousine, she made director in three months. So, you know, everything, is, everything happens for different reasons and it, and it really helps solidify that for me. And there are different seasons, you know, um, and I quit the business so many years ago. I'm sorry that I did, but you know, there are so many things that happened to me in my life that made me um, a better, stronger person. And mm -hmm. now coming back, thankfully, my sweet, wonderful, smart daughter got me back in eight years ago. Um, it's been such a huge blessing. But, you know, even when we started and then five years ago when my father passed away, um, we still had our bonus check coming in every month, which we're very grateful for. But we took, you know, I had to take a couple of months off and it was not a good season. And then um, a couple of years ago, from being Elizabeth, it was a better season and we built and grew. And now she left her job in April and it's another season because now, you know, it's um, her career now, right, Elizabeth? Her family, of course, is the most important. So yes, priorities, seasons, but the main thing is that wherever, whatever season you're in, that you don't quit like I did. You just keep going at whatever pace, you know, keep going. Yeah. And people who are keeping an on going and are persistent and staying in there are going to get, they're going to grow, you know, it's going to happen. Yes. So we're just so excited for you. And I, here's that video you were talking about. Let's see if it'll play. What, where did it go? There it is. Jim says I've got to actually go in here and hit this. There we go. So you did something, cut the music off. So they had a drone out. They had the photographer was up on a really high ladder, and then they put the drone out. And you, as it, the drone flies out, you're going to see the design of the leaf, the Shackley leaf and the tables that we were sitting at. That's super cool. So it was just a quick little video, but it's, um, it was really interesting that we got to do that. So you want to get past that. I got to touch the screen, something. There we go. Let's see if that works. Strange. <laughs> What's going on? Somewhere is the Q&A. You put it in front of that. Can you pause the video though, like right towards the end so it stays on the image? Uh, that's Kevin Crandall walking away. Mm -hmm. That's cute. Okay, pause right there. There we go. There you go. There's supposed to be a slide that says, Terry, thank you, and Q&A, which we saw a minute ago, but it's okay. <laughs> we can leave what's, it right there. Yeah. What's going on next to the headquarters? Where they, the dark side is here? Where all the land uh, dirt, dirt is. I don't know. They didn't tell us. Uh, we did see a fox run through there, but so. <laughs> I wonder if they're spanned. I don't know. They didn't say anything about it. Hmm. So, but you can see the oval pathway that's around this inner courtyard. Um, I believe that they said that the, you know, I've got my little notes and they're in our book, that it was a tribute to the leadership of Dr. John Whith Whittem, who was a former president of Shackley, and he was a runner. And so the oval is um, like an exercise path that you can work, you can walk around if you need to. And there are 21 stones engraved down. You kind of see this toward the end here. You can kind of see a stone circle. And there are 21 stones engraved with several different expressions that were um, attributed to Dr. Whit Whittem. I remember him. I don't remember much about him, but I remember his name. Mm -hmm. Did they talk about anything about the, um, the building being, you know, in all the um, zero, the... Oh, yes. We had all, all kinds of things there. We had, um, sorry, my, for some reason, my, if I, if I disappear all of a sudden, I have 10% battery left and it's not, it's plugged in and it's not working. Oh, hang on one second. 
if anybody has any questions, you can type them in the it helps chat. If you actually, it helps if you actually turn on the power strip it's plugged into. <laughs> <laughs> it does help. <laughs> um, the building itself is, um, let's see, it was opened in 2000, and it's one of the first green energy saving award winning buildings designed using sustainable materials uh, from woods and carpets and recycled plastics. They, um, a couple of the really cool things is they have a wall that's got, um, it's a wall of car earners. So when you earn your car, if you send a picture in of your car, they put it on the wall. There's a picture of all these car earners. Um, there are pictures of all the masters on the walls there. And oh, by the way, I saw these wonderful plaques that had the names of uh, a team that earned like top, top billing at conference in Orlando. I think it was Hatchel Burt, something like that. Go Hatchel Burt team! Yeah, it was all, we were on the wall. Um, there, there is a gong for Million Dollar Days that are, that's rung when they hit million dollars in sales. There's a tremendous amount of natural light that comes in. Um, they have a fireplace on every floor. There's a fireplace in a little seating area and each of the, if you wanna have a small meeting, if you need to relax, take a nap in the middle of the day, whatever it is, you've got it all there. There's a kitchen on every floor with stocked with products and stocked with um, life shake and milk and whatever you need to make it so you can go make your own shakes and everything that are in there. Nice. Um, there is the one stairwell, there is a huge fan that if there is a fire, it activates and it will pull the smoke out from the top of the building, allowing people to go down so that they're not um, suffocated through smoke inhalation. And it's one of the safety features that they have. And they said, and it is very loud when it goes off because we have had burnt toast that has sent it off. <laughs> Oops. So it was it was really nice, but it's a beautiful, beautiful building and um, very, very earth friendly and eco friendly. It's really nice. Awesome. Elizabeth, do you have any questions for? Her? She got muted again. Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, no, I mean that was wonderful. I mean, we obviously were living vicariously through you when you were there. Um, so we just have to become masters so we can go there ourselves one okay. day. Three new, no. <laughs> Three or four new masters were pinned while we were there. So that was really cool as well. That's great. And Laura was there, of course, and mm -hmm. Brooke and Chani and who else was there? Anyway. But that was fun to watch. I'm sure that was great for them. Did they actually train y'all some too? They did. Um, Laura had a session and Brooke uh, had a session with uh, Lauren. The two of them had a session. Great. So you had a good combination of leadership training, personal growth, Shackley training, um, looking at all the, the innovation center, the Shackley headquarters. You got to go in Roger's office, didn't you? Yes, we did. I thought nobody has ever done that before. And Heather oh, asked he why. Sat on the chair, sat in his chair. Yay. So it's really cool, really a neat office. Cool. With Spencer's name on the outside, if you didn't know. I saw that. There were so many pictures that I wanted to pull into this PowerPoint, but I thought we would just be here all night. But that was, and if anybody wants to go out there and see them, all you have to do is go on Facebook and just search Shackley NDC 2016, I think is what I did. And there were just yes. things out there. And even Colleen did a little cute video that was out there as well. <laughs> My trip. And then of course, just being wined and dined. Mm -hmm. I know you wished that Mark could have been there. Yes. Yes, I did. But no, but it, it was also nice to, to really be able to focus on the business building and the personal growth part of it for myself. So and making new friends. Sometimes when yeah. when with your spouse, you know, you're not maybe making as many friends as you would if you were by yourself. So right. But he can go back and look at this um, PowerPoint because we've recorded it. Yay! Yay! All right. Well, I'm going to end the recording, and then if anybody wants to come in, they can let me know. Recording. Thank you, Terry.